Today, we will be celebrating the winningest coach in college football for the 2023 season, Coach Primetime, Deion Sanders. His first season at Colorado was not only electric and profitable, it was also historical. And we will be looking at the X's and O's that count the most. We're going to start with Deion Sanders' salary. And once we break down his salary, we can easily tell that he went in and secured this position, not as a coach, but as a businessman. We all can learn something from this because Coach Prime's contract sets an indelible example for others to emulate. Dion's base salary is $500,000. Isn't that the same thing he kind of made at Jackson State? Coach Prime has an incentive-based contract, meaning that if he performs at certain levels, he makes more money. Before Coach Prime even got comfortable playing in front of the home crowd, he had already made the school upwards of $280 million. This $280 million represents a 56,000% increase above his base salary of $500,000. This $280 million represents a 5,000% increase above his incentive-based salary of $5.5 million. Lastly, this $280 million represents a 850% increase over the total value of his five-year contract worth $29.5 million. Please remember this equation. Salary plus commission slash incentives equals control. The more salary you have, the more control they have. Deion Sanders, Coach Primetime, is definitely in control. The average Big 12 schools bring in about $50 million in revenue a year. Before Colorado's season had even started good, Deion Sanders brought in six times more than that $50 million. Media rights is the largest source of income for Big 12 schools. The Buffaloes gain 100,000 X, formerly known as Twitter, subscribers. The Buffaloes gain 50,000 Instagram subscribers. The Buffaloes saw a 1,700% increase in ticket sales. They had not sold out a game since 1996. They raised 8 million more in donations than the 2022 season. Now, the Buffaloes don't want you to know all their business, but merchandise sales, I know, went through the roof. I've seen numbers between 300% and 1,000%. Guarantee you, it's more than that. TV revenue was already in place. It's $45 million. But now, the Buffaloes are earning every penny of it. Even before I made this video, I was listening to all the negative distractors and all the things they were saying about Dion. And I was kind of agreeing with the people, the distractors, the haters. But I thought to myself, I said, you know what? There's been entirely too much buzz, almost on a historical level. You know, Deion Sanders has been around a long time. And I was thinking, I said, you know what? I've never seen Deion involved in a scandal. I've never seen him drink. I've never seen him smoke weed. I've never seen, heard him use the N-word. I've never heard him use profanity. Uh... He loves his kids. He's a mentor. He was a great, great Hall of Fame athlete. So for this situation, isn't he the perfect black role model? We can argue that no college football coach hiring has ever generated the kind of fanfare and immediate revenue that the hiring of Coach Primetime has accomplished. That includes Urban Meyer, to Ohio State in 2011, and Nick Saban to Alabama in 2007. Dion has eclipsed all the numbers in revenue and fanfare that they amassed during their initial hiring. And that, my friend, is historical. For college football, Dion's hiring has been trailblazing. Every college football program in the nation is looking for the next Deion Sanders. Somebody 
that can give them so much while the school is on the hook for so little. About 90% of football programs today hire their football coaches with a guaranteed salary plus bonuses. You know what's really funny? I heard somebody say that Dion needs to be fired and so does the guy that hired him. Isn't that ridiculous? Dion Sanders has slain Maplethorpe's marketing theory. This season, Dion's record on the field doesn't mean too much because America would give him a year to get it all together. In case you didn't know, a coach that inherits a losing team has a 40% chance to have a winning season his first season. A coach that inherits a losing program has a 20% chance to have a winning season his first season. As the hype starts to build for next year's college football season, Deion Sanders' money train will roll again. I have to believe that he will be highly competitive next season.